So I think uh, I think Young Amon and Sid have something planned for us. I think we're gonna do a top five segment. Uh, so top five artists of all time. Yeah. So let's get into it. This is one of the most popular debates. <laughs> uh, who are the top five? Yeah. I, I mean, think, usually I think it's you'd, rappers. You'd, but you'd agree with mine. I kept it kind of general. Okay. So, you want to start with see. number five and go in? Yes. Okay. But okay. before we do that, I want to make sure that the Empty Shove gang knows hey, that we true. haven't forgotten that's about true. our crowned champion from the <laughs> drinks section yes. last week. Yes. So without further ado, I'm going to place this Coke onto the shelf as our second item. Where should we put it? It's right here, man. Right there. Some I hate the fact that we're exposure. giving Coke more advertising, bro. You know what? We can just get some biscuit spice up here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we should do that. We should get some biscuit spice. We should. It no, did we should surprise replace me it. the most. So I feel like maybe we should get some biscuit spice up in here, man. Yeah, maybe we should change the narrative of like what impressed us yeah. the most instead yeah, of like yeah, what yeah. tasted the best. Because yeah. because we all know Coke's. I mean, it's it's nice, but it's no biscuit spice. It's no biscuit yeah. spice. Yeah. And I we're supporting Indian businesses. That's true. That's know? true. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So for next week, we're going to change this to a mystery <laughs> spice. <laughs> so this had no point of <laughs> being introduced. <laughs> okay. Um, let's jump into the top five. Yeah, let's do it. Segment. You want to go uh, first? Now you go. Yeah, right, cool. Number five. So I picked this artist because I just have a lot of fun listening to him, man. Every single time that I want to get into a good mood, get some confidence going, or just, I'm just feeling like tired and lazy. I'll just play this. Do you have any idea who it could be? Meek Mill? It's my, uh, not Meek Mill. It's my favorite birthday song. Oh, 50 Cent. 50 Cent. So wow. he has my top five. Yeah, Jay loves yeah, 50 Cent. I love 50 Cent, dude. He's great, dude. I mean, you know, just if in a bad mood, listen to some 50 Cent. I yeah. guarantee you, you won't be in a bad mood after you hear Many Men. Oh, dude. Just absolutely no way and he's i love that he's like a powerhouse of so many different things he has power he has well now yeah he's he, huge dude. yeah his vitamin water he yeah. made so he made like i remember this quote from an entourage episode mm. but 50 cent made 50 mil of music and yeah. 100 mil of vitamin wa water yeah he's crazy good with business as well man Insane. So, yeah. yeah well on that note let me give you my fifth mm. person so a lot of y'all may not even know this artist, but he's very, very instrumental in mm. my development as mm -hmm. a as mm -hmm. a musician myself. He goes by the name Bobby Ray, aka yeah. Bob. Dude, I'm glad I'm glad you included him in the top five. I had to. So let yeah. me tell you yeah. why he's in my top five. The first ever rap song I heard, or I can remember in my childhood hearing was B.O.B.'s performance at the Grammys of Don't Let Me Fall. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I was in the living room. I was just doing my own thing. Rohan, my cousin, was watching the performance. And he called out to me like, dude, Adi, come check this guy out. He's yeah. sick. Yeah. And I didn't even listen to rap music at that time. Yeah. And I came out and I was like, he was playing the guitar. He was singing. He was rapping. And he was incredible, yeah. man. It's a great song. If anyone wants to check song. it out. Yeah. It's like one of my dad's favorite songs yeah. as well. If any of you guys are B.O.B. fans, just put it down in the comments, man. If you are, yeah. you, you, I love you. <laughs> but then he got into some weird hippie shit. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. I think he's like a flat earther now. He's we'll, a flat we'll, we'll forget about all that. It's fine. <laughs> it's, you can still put it down. I don't mind. Yeah, the 2010 to 2014 B.O.B. was good. I have a huge connection to B.O.B. as well because Don't Let Me Fall was actually the first song that like we heard together as like a rap song oh yeah in the sunny yeah it was great sick yeah. i didn't even remember that no no it was it was it was great my fault and now okay so you might not like this one being my fault but i gotta put kanye west at four at four at four yeah damn i'm excited to know what your one is yeah yeah my, my one is my one is like a personal favorite of mine i feel like you know what it is yeah but, i think so um yeah no he's great man he's a genius i love his stuff um i've listened to him well we've listened to him since like what 2011 now so yeah he's great i know i know you might rank him a bit a bit higher but yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah spoiler alert yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah no he's definitely number four for me so okay yeah. awesome my fourth would be um and i swear he only slid into fourth like lower than one two three yeah because of his alleged uh ties with kids 
um, Mr. Jackson himself. <laughs> Michael Jackson is my number four, man. I Is he on your list? Who, Michael Jackson? Yeah. No. No? No. Oh, geez. Yeah. I completely forgot about Michael Jackson. <laughs> I don't even have to explain anything to you guys. The greatest performer, the king of pop. Uh, the greatest performer. Yeah. Name a better performer. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. Mick Jagger. <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> no, because, uh, yeah, that's my, that would be my third mm-hmm. Rolling Stones. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, shit. Dude, okay. I love the Rolling Stones. I feel like before I listened to rap, I used to listen to a lot of old rock. And I still do to this day. Like, a lot of my playlists are just filled with, like, a bunch of, like, old rock music. Mm-hmm. And, dude, Satisfaction, like, um, it's one of my favorite songs. Can't S- Always Get What You Want might just be one of my favorite songs as well. So I had to shout him out at number three. Awesome. Yeah. I'll I'll be honest with you. I haven't heard much of their catalog. Yeah. But I've made you listen to a few songs though. In uh, in music school when I was studying yeah. like in uh, New York, we had a, a class which had a first seminar on the marketing of Rolling Stones because really? they okay. came up uh, alongside the Beatles. Yeah. And the yeah. Beatles were marketed as, you know, the good boys yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did the complete opposite. Yeah. Because they wanted to be that opposing yeah. thing. So they were like the bad boys. And like, you can kind of hear it in the music as well. Like, if you listen to like a Beatles song, like you want to be like, you know, in the sun, like whatever. Yeah. Like Rolling Stones will get you there, bro. Every time. It's yeah. great. I like that. I like that aspect of yeah. them. Yeah. My number three is Mr. Hove, Jay-Z. Damn. You yeah. put him in your top five? For sure, bro. You don't. If I, the I fact that like you're I surprised. Keep, I feel like I keep asking you this about Jay Z. I'm not a huge Jay Z fan, but I mean, I think yeah, people I, who are not Jay Z fans haven't heard or haven't paid attention to him. I would say. I mean, I've paid attention to him. It's just like you know, my top five is more of. It's more emotional. I would say for you, it's more about the music, but mine, I would say, is a little more to what I consider like my own favorites, right? Yeah. Not saying that you don't like Jay-Z's music as much, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'll tell you why I love him. First of all, he's an icon, like of in the music space. Secondly, a businessman. Like No, nah, he's a he's a he's, business. He's man. The, he's the, <laughs> <laughs> that line's so corny. I see it like is, it is, I see it is, people it is. <laughs> on Twitter like tweet that. Tweet. I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. He's he's one of the ugliest guys and he got Beyonce. That's true. That's true. It's just all... Yeah, I don't know how good. that happened at all. Yeah. But, you know, good for him, dude. My second artist is undoubtedly... Well, not artist, band. Queen. 100%. Okay. It's gotta be Queen. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think I know your number one. Yeah, you probably do. I know your number one yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little <laughs> but, uh, i'm a little so, scared right now because i know i think i know who your one is and the fact that drake is not in your top five fun fact he was in my top five completely forgot to mention him <laughs> completely <laughs> forgot about him i'm not even kidding i i think i was listening to drake when i wrote my list uh-huh. and in my mind i was just like yeah drake done how can you leave him out? Because I told Sid to put my list down over here. And I was like, dude, I know I'm forgetting someone. So I said <laughs> Kanye West. And then he put up my, like, he put up the rest of my list. And I was like, oh, dude. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta, you gotta remove one of the others, bro. Okay, yeah, no, definitely. I would remove Kanye then. Okay, wait, wait. Not, let's not make any rash decisions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would remove Kanye, man. Drake means so much more to me than Kanye does. Like, Shut up, bro. I, He does, dude. It's just a personal favorite of mine. I, love, the, okay, I love Drake. I would throw away Rolling Stones before no, I throw No, I wouldn't away. throw away. I would, I would pick Rolling Stones over Kanye West as well. Like, I'm oh. good with that decision. I would replace, like, Drake with Kanye. Dude, there's been so many moments in our lives where, like, the Drake album of that time was just the soundtrack for it. I can't like, believe you kept no... 50 Cent in and you threw away Kanye Oh, West. 100%. 50 Shut Cent. Up, dude, 50 bro. Cent has given me so much. I, I couldn't leave him out, man. I can't leave him out. I refuse. This is a trash list. Bro. Nah, nah, nah. You, dude, I'm, trust me. Trust me. We're going to listen to some 50 Cent after this. We're going to get in a good mood. It's going to be fun. Okay, let me go to my top, to my, to my second place, um, which would be none other than Drake. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had to. Yeah, I yeah. actually give him some respect. Yeah. I don't forget about him. <laughs> um, he was the first yeah. rap concert I ever went to in Atlanta with my brother when yeah. I was twelve years old. Yeah, you did. 
and he brought out at that point he was the only rap artist and like bob and all of these guys that i knew he brought out this was his opening lineup yeah, yeah. the weekend damn j cole yeah Nicki minaj yeah. two chains and then him and i had no idea who yeah, those other I, four i remember were. you telling me this and you just like no nah, he brought out some guy called the weekend like i don't know we just <laughs> made fun of that artist name for like five Straight minutes up, and bro. we were like like what 14 at the time 12 like, 13 dude, yeah that's that's crazy man like and you didn't you probably were just like oh come on hurry up man like let's get yeah, to they were, like j cole was his opening act <laughs> yeah, bro yeah, two yeah, chains yeah. was right before jake like yeah, he was yeah, bigger yeah. than j cole <laughs> at that point yeah that's crazy man it was I, wild yeah i remember this yeah okay finally drum roll so, number one so my number one it's not going to be a surprise for you yeah I know. but it's it's lil wayne it's got to be lil wayne he is the first artist that i he is how i got into rap initially do you feel like you have like a short man sympathy oh, for one, him oh dude 100% lil wayne dude like he's <laughs> dude he's like a 5 6 rapper he does everything <laughs> come on man i got to give lil wayne some credit um but dude i remember like i can probably recite the carter for word for word mm. if like the intro started playing I could go all the way to the outro. Like that album is imprinted on my brain. I literally anytime someone plays it, I just like my fight or flight kicks in and I just start like rapping it in my head. No, I love it. It's Lil great. Wayne it's undeniably well, like one of my favorite albums of all he time. He is the king of wordplay. No one he, touches no, him. Really. Like literally yeah. no one touches yeah. him there. Yeah. Um okay, I'm going to go for my number one spot yeah. which I think the uh, room knows is obviously Mr. Kanye West. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's why you were so. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be Vic Mensa, but <laughs> shut up. <bro. laughs> yeah, of course it's Kanye, man. He's yeah. my yeah, yeah. He's my yeah. favorite artist. But definitely. you like, I love Kanye. Don't get me wrong. Like he's great. I just feel like you like him so much more because you're an artist. Like, and you really relate to him on that level. Like, I love his music, but you love him for so much more. Like he's a musical yeah. genius, and I feel like that part appeals to him. I mean, that part appeals to you way more than you know anything else. It's that, and I feel like so all the other artists that we've mentioned mm-hmm. have a very distinct style to them. Yeah. Like you can pick out, you know, yeah, a Lil yeah, Wayne yeah. song from anywhere, yeah. or whatever. Kanye, you never know what he's going to do, which yeah, excites me so that's, much. That's true. That's true. Like as someone yeah. who's watching something, like or listening to something, you. Yeah. You, I don't, I don't want to listen to the same thing over and over. I don't want to be in, in the honestly never mind zone. Yeah, now, I feel like he does a good job of like switching things up, and it's necess- And he does it the best. Like he'll never have like a switch up from album to album that I don't like. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he's great. So that's our top five. Everyone, comment down your top five, and let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see how Kanye fares. If let's Taylor Swift is in your top five, <laughs> like, don't do it. Or- <laughs> oh man yeah hey guys if you enjoyed that clip click here to watch the full episode and here to subscribe